I am back. All right, family, we're back at home, and I'm going to show you the haul. These are the items that I purchased for part of the centerpiece. This is going to be the candlestick holders. I have the three vases and the round mirrors, and then the greenery. As you see, that you saw earlier, I was picking. And then I bought this so that the runner will not slip. And the three um, rags that are really for the car, but I'm going to use them to go down the center as a runner. So watch as I put together the candle centerpiece. So here we are back at the desk. Now we're going to start the project. We've already unpacked. We went shopping, we unpacked, and now we're ready to start our um, the candle portion of our centerpiece. Now, as you can see, I've taken the glass piece that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree and the cylinder vase, and I've uh, attached it with E6000. I've attached it with our trusty E6000 glue, okay? And then I set it to the side overnight and let it cure. So I did this at about 8 o'clock last night, and now it is nine o'clock in the morning so it's been set for 12 hours see okay so now i'm going to take our hot glue gun i'm going to take our hot glue gun and i'm going to begin to attach the greenery that i got from the dollar tree the different greenery or as you can see i'm using white but <clears throat> greenery that i've gotten from the dollar tree okay I'm going to actually detach them from the stems. I don't need the stems for this project. Um, I will take off some of the leaves though because I'm sure I'll be able to use them um, as filler pieces. But I'll go ahead and detach all of the flowers from the stems and all of the greenery as well. Now, on this particular piece of greenery, you see that it has the pine cone. See, it has the pine cone. And we also want the pine cone that's there as well. Okay, so make sure you detach all of the pieces. You're going to just leave the stems. There shouldn't be anything else left except for the stem piece when you're done. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next. And we're just taking them all off and setting them to the side. It'll make it easier when you get ready to assemble. That way you don't have to worry about this step. Now, I made sure that I got a good variety so that I can have nice um, color variations. I, but I wanted to make sure that I stayed with the, the white and silver. Um, the leaves on this one I don't really um I don't really like these leaves the texture of them um I don't know whether it's because they um kind of shine but I don't really like these so I'm not going to use these but we have plenty of leaves on the other pieces that we can use for filler so we'll be fine now the other items that I also bought to attach to the the candlestick holder portion of the centerpiece is um, the, this piece of greenery and it comes with a clip so what we're going to do is we're actually going to detach the greenery from the clip okay so you're going to take it apart from the clip that way it'll sit flush um, when you get ready to put it down and <clears throat> excuse me it will come apart but all you have to do is use your glue gun and just glue the pieces that you want to stick together back together and then just glue it onto the candlestick holder and I'll show you that in a minute as well <coughs> okay so here we go I'm gonna randomly begin to attach my greenery onto the glass portion <coughs> of my candlestick holder And I like to start um, on each corner. So I do like four. I do them directly 
um, across from each other in fours so that I know that I have balance in my piece. <clears throat> The next one is going to go directly over here on the back part. And I don't know if anybody has noticed, but <clears throat> I'm now working at my regular computer desk. Um, because once again, I've had to give up my craft space temporarily. Um, but like I said, it was it's temporary. And we do what we have to do for family. So, my daughter <clears throat> and her husband is temporarily staying with us. Um, now that my son moved out. And I had worked hard to make that into my uh, craft space. But she's staying in it temporarily. So, I'm working on my computer desk. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is what it looks like so far. I really need to redo the top of it, but that'll be part of when I redo my office space. Okay, but for now, this is what it looks like. Okay, we have the four... Um, pieces glued down. So now we're going to begin to fill in the extra spaces. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing. I don't know if you can see me well, but I'm just going to continue to add hot glue and we're going to begin to fill in those extra spaces now. The, the blank spaces that are in between the four that we just put down. Now one great thing about DIY projects is that <clears throat> you make this completely your own. I wanted to go with a winter wonderland theme. So mine is going to be whites, off whites, silver. Um, you might decide that you want to do the same project and you want to add gold or maybe you want to use traditional colors. I hope my arm is not in the way. I can't really tell. Or <clears throat> like I said, you want to use traditional colors and you want to do the reds and the greens this is totally 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 up to you okay so as you can see it's beginning to get full <clears throat> let me turn it around a little bit so you can see okay i'm sorry it is so close but because i'm using <clears throat> cuz i'm using my computer desk the space is a is a lot smaller than uh, where I would normally craft and the camera is attached to something um, a new a new kind of arm that hangs onto my computer desk and because of that I can't zoom out as much to give you that full effect let me see okay so that's what it looks like so far and that's just with the two layers going around. <clears throat> now, as I'm turning it on this portion right here, I notice that there's a big gap. So I'm just going to take another um, uh, of the off-white flower. And I'm going to glue it in that space to fill it in. Because <clears throat> I don't want that much space. In between the flowers so I'm just going to take another one of the off-white which is actually my preferred flower on this I do have the <clears throat> the other white white with the glitter on it to give it that pizzazz that pop and that's these right here but I like the off-white on here better I think it makes it look a little more elegant okay so now that we have all of our all of our floral pieces on here, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start inserting these berry pieces. And like I said, when it's a DIY project, it is totally your own. So you can arrange it any way that you want. Um, 
just make sure that you look at it uh, make sure that it looks balanced and make sure that you like it this is your centerpiece okay so make sure that you like it ultimately this is going to be on my dining room table as part of my um, tablescape so I want to make sure that it is something that I'm going to enjoy passing by every day since my dining room is right off my doorway and I get to look at it every single day I just want to make sure that <clears throat> I like it enough that um, I don't mind looking at it and I'm going to do this process three times three three times so I'm just going to show you the one and then I'm going to finish the other three and uh, you'll see it all put together as part of the tablescape and that video will be coming to you right after Thanksgiving the Friday after Thanksgiving so if you want to see <clears throat> my winter wonderland tablescape just come back uh, come back to my channel and watch us the Friday after Thanksgiving and you'll see the winter wonderland tablescape and exactly how I use these candle holders in the centerpiece so <clears throat> I was placing this piece right here and as I was looking at it from an angle I realized it's kind of close um, to the other piece so the one good thing about working with hot glue is that if you work really quickly you can take that piece off and move it so I decided that I'm going to instead of putting it where I had it I'm going to put it over here on this portion and I like it better over there I only want three um, sprigs on this one so instead of four so I want to make sure that even with the three it still appears like it has balance so I'm going to pull back a little bit and then you can see what I'm talking about so I have the one two three sprigs of berries okay now I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to decide whether I want to add these silver berries um right now i'm not sure i'm not really liking them but i do know that i want to use the <clears throat> the piece that i had earlier that i took the um the clip off of i want to use that so let's see where i'm going to put that at and because it's such a um a big piece um already attached all together to each other see when i took the the clip off though it started coming apart but it is um <clears throat> one of the larger pieces where i would have put the fourth sprig which would be right about here i'm going to go ahead and add this the clip piece right there sorry i didn't know you couldn't see so i'm going to add the i'm going to add this right here um and then i will be done so, let me show you what it'll look like. Okay, so since the piece came apart, I'm, I am uh, recreating it <clears throat> using my hot glue gun. And I'm just putting each portion down separately. And then I'm adding the hot glue so that it will stay together in place. Okay. And I'm holding it in place just for a few seconds as each piece dries. Just a few seconds is all you need. You hold it in place as each piece dries. And I found that to be the easiest for me. Um, the other way you can do it is just glue it all back together. <clears throat> you can glue all the pieces back together um, before you attach it. And then as one whole piece, you can attach it to the, to the vase. Okay. So here we go. Now, if it doesn't seem like it's sticking very well, and you know that you want it in this spot, you can also just put a dab of glue like I just did. Also put a dab of glue onto the vase itself and glue the piece onto the vase or vase, depending on how you pronounce it. Okay, and <clears throat> now this piece also came, I'm sorry you all, this piece also came with a couple of these silver, 
sprigs and I'm just going to add them in randomly so that the silver is distributed throughout the piece. Okay, so here goes the finished piece and I'm going to move it so that we can see it in isolation. You'll see, there goes the piece that I took off the clips. The pearlized berry sprigs and the greenery. And it's all attached to the mirror that's underneath. And yeah, I didn't take all the tags off. It was late last night when I was attaching, but... Well, here we go again. And that is the first one. Again, I am going to do this in a set of threes. I'm going to do this three so that I can uh, use it to line the table with. But it's an easy, quick DIY. It didn't take me any time. And everything that is on here is from the Dollar Tree. So inexpensive. Now, if I wanted to, I can use this by itself. Um a candle to put inside but I can use it by my by itself in the bathroom individually I can put it um, on my coffee table or in my entryway uh, the possibilities are endless so if you like this come back and see how I design my winter wonderland tablescape thank you